So let's imagine that you are on the North Pole. You could accurately track your uh, stars with an ALDOS mount. Why? Because the stars are moving in azimuth only, so they're only moving from east to west in this case. At the equator, um, stars are mainly moving in altitude only. So you see stars going straight up and going straight down, so you could, would be able to track uh, your stars with an LS mount uh, because you would only be using the altitude motor of your mount. Uh, but of course most of us don't live near the equator and also certainly not near the North Pole. So for most of us we have another path and then the LS mount cannot cope with that because uh, let's see here we are I am in the, in the Netherlands it's 52 degrees latitude and then here you can see that my stars describe this curved path along the sky. And um, of course uh, an alt ALS mount can only move horizontally or vertically and cannot cope with this curved path. Uh, an equatorial mount can. Uh, why? Yeah, because it's aligned with the celestial pole, the earth is a little bit tilted so it takes that into account and it also takes into account your uh, latitude. So that's why I would recommend buying an equatorial mount when you start this hobby of astrophotography.